Hello, today we're going to look at how to customize and extend Visual Studio Code. First, we're going to look at changing our theme. If we open the command palette, type theme, and press enter, we can now look at changing to, to a different theme. Notice as I go up and down, it previews what the theme will look like. I can see how the syntax and the background colors play together. We're going to choose the dark default theme for Visual Studio Code and press enter. Next, let's look at settings. Open the command palette, type settings, press enter for open user settings. Now there's on the left side, the default setting, and on the right side is the settings.json file, which is where I place my own settings to overwrite the default settings. On the left side, I can scroll through and see all of the different settings available. Also here in settings.json, if I trigger suggest, which is control space, this is similar to IntelliSense, and then I can type auto save. So this is the first setting I want to overwrite. So I want to have my files auto saved. You can read the details of the setting here, controls the auto save of dirty files, and then tells me the different valid values, off, after delay, and on focus change. I'm going to press tab, we're going to change this to on focus change. Next I want to change the tab size. If I type tab size, tab, I'm going to change it from 4 to 2. Save. Now these settings are applied. Next I'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts. Open the command palette, type keyboard, press enter. Now similar thing, on the left side we have the default keyboard shortcuts, and on the right side are key bindings that I've overwritten in the keybindings.json file. You can see the key binding I wrote here is command shift R, and it's bound to the command reopen closed editor. If we look on the left, you can see all the different key bindings. It shows the command, and then the context of when that is available under the win key. At the bottom of the key bindings is all the other commands that are available. Similar thing here. If I trigger suggest, I can get IntelliSense on the command that I can reference here. So I reopen, closed editor, and save. Now when I close my files and press Command Shift R, it will open the ones that I previously closed. Next, let's look at snippets. We open up a JavaScript file, press Enter a couple times, trigger a suggest, type 4. You can see this is a for loop snippet. If I press Tab, it inserts a code snippet into my code, and then I can change the name of that variable and tab, and quickly I have an entire code block entered into my code. In Visual Studio Code, you can customize the snippets that are available to you. Open the command palette, type snippets, press enter. Now we're going to choose the language. I'm typing JavaScript, but as you can see, there are lots of other languages available. Press enter. And now my clipboard, I've copied this self-invoking function snippet. Now this is shown here. We have the name of the snippet, self-invoking function, the prefix, which is the characters I type to get that snippet, in the body of the snippet, which is the snippet itself. The dollar sign one and dollar sign two are tab stops showing where my next tab location is. If I save this file, we'll go back to server.js, go below here, self invoking. You can see there's the snippet. Press tab, you can do x, y, z, console.log, x, y, z. So quickly we have added our own snippet into our workspace. Finally, we're going to look at adding extensions. You can see here, these are the extensions I have installed. Show installed extensions. You can show outdated extensions if there's extensions that need to be updated, or recommendations. Recommendations are Visual Studio Code intelligently telling you extensions that will help in your workload. This is based on the file types that you have used. So ESLint and TSLint come from the JavaScript files that I've used. If I click on the extension, I can see more details, including animations or other showcases of the extension, so I can decide if I should install it. Along with recommendations, you can also see the most popular extensions and search. So if we want to search for snippets, we can see all the different snippets available. Or if I want to get something for React.js, type React.js, see here's React.js code snippets. I can look at the details click install. Now it takes a second to install from the marketplace then I can click enable. This will prompt me, prompt me to restart VS Code. Click OK. It restarts the product. Now if I go to the installed extensions you can see I have this available now. Now there are a variety of ways to extend with VS Code including key bindings, snippets, and language support. 
That wraps up our customization and extension tutorial. Next time, we will look at code editing features. Thank you.